Hi guys, thanks so much for stopping by. I have a stitch fix to share with you today and I can't wait to see what's in this box. So let's get right to it. So I got rid of the crinkly paper so that we can look at the pieces together. And the first thing that I see is a top by the brand Kaylee. It looks like a cold shoulder with a little bit of crisscross detail in the front. And it's in a pretty mustard color with a black and white delicate floral. As you can see, I already am a fan of cold shoulders, so I don't object to that. It's in a size small. I think this would actually look good with the army green jeans that I'm wearing today, and you'll see that a little bit later when I show my outfit of the day. But let's see how this looks on. So I love the color of this next piece, and I can't tell if this is a really long top or a really short dress. Okay, it's a romper. Oh boy, that's interesting. This is by Market and Spruce. I'm pretty sure that Stitch Fix has my age on my profile, and I'm looking at how short this is, and I, I can't imagine. It doesn't have much of an inseam, but we're going to try it on anyway. I love the color. It's a beautiful, vibrant cobalt blue with an optic white. It feels like a fabric that's not going to wrinkle and it'll be easy to wash and wear and travel in. I am a little bit concerned about the length. I'm not sure this is going to be age appropriate. But because they sent it, I'm going to try it on. So let's see how it looks. Okay, right off the bat, I'm not sure how I feel about this one, and I'll tell you why. It's by the brand Fortune and Ivy, and it is a size small. And when I pulled it out of the box, I couldn't tell again if it was a long top or a very short dress. Now, just as a point of reference, I am 5'4", but I'm also 56 years old, and I'm not trying to look like I'm 20. Another concern I have about this is it seems a little bit shapeless to me, but you really can't tell until you try it on, and we are going to try it on now. I don't mind the floral pattern, and I do like the emerald green background. Typically for spring, I like more vibrant color than this, but I don't mind these colors. There's some gold and some pink and white and blue, so we're going to try it on and see how it looks. I actually own a pair of summer shoes that are this exact color of gold, so I think I'll try it on with that, and maybe that'll give me a different opinion of this dress, so let's see how this looks on. So the next piece is this beautiful, it's almost a neon coral, but not quite, and I know that coral is the Pantone color of the year. It has a little V cut out in the front, and then in the back there's a keyhole with some silver buttons and I actually like the contrast of the silver buttons because with the length of my hair the buttons will show and often tops have buttons that match which are fine and I have some but I kind of like that little bit of added something something in the back. I often wear tops like this. I'll do a little front tuck. I think this will look nice actually with the army green jeans that I have on right now. And then I would top it with a cardigan or a jacket if I get cold. So let's see how this looks on. And the final item is denim. And this is the one thing that I specifically requested. I was looking for a boyfriend cut denim with a little bit of distressing. And this doesn't have too crazy of distressing. It does go actually go through all the way, but it's not big gaping holes. And it does have a cuff that is not sewn into place, which works out well for me being 5'4", because I often have to adjust this. The back pockets have a little bit of distressing as well, but not any pattern other than that. The denim feels nice. I'll be curious to see the price. I am wondering, I'm going to go into a little bit of a side note here. I'm wondering if all this distressed denim that we're all buying is going to go the same path that acid wash jeans way back in the day went, where everyone had to have acid wash jeans and we all went and filled our closet with them and then no one would be seen dead in them. And I'm just wondering if down the road, if all this distressed denim that I'm buying and that you might be buying also is going to be a thing of the past. I kind of hope it sticks around a while because I do like the deconstructed look a lot. But I also have quite a few pair now and I'm afraid that I've got money invested in something that's really going to go out of style. And I don't know that at my age if, if it'll come back into style while I can still wear them. But anyway, let's go ahead and try these on. So let's see what Jackie has to say about this fix. Happy Fix Day, Teresa. I got your note and found a great pair of boyfriend jeans for you that are slightly distressed and mid-rise. Style the Judy Blue jeans with the mustard cold shoulder top from Kaylee that has spring written all over it. Cuff the jeans and go with white tennis shoes. I also love the jeans paired with the coral halter, which is so fun and vibrant. Style this look with tan wedges and accessorize with a gold cuff. 
The Cobalt Romper from Margaret and Spruce has spring attitude as well. I'll say, we'll see how much attitude with that when we try it on. Pair it with tan block heel sandals and add a matching crossbody purse. Round out the look with a white denim jacket too. Do you have any favorite spring colors that I can include for your next time? Let me know what you're thinking. Enjoy, Jackie XO. So let's go ahead and go over the pricing on the five pieces that we got in this box today. Now for the dreaded price list. Jesus, take the wheel. Let's see what this is all going to cost. The stylus pick subtotal is $242. That's not too bad, actually. The buy all five discount would take 25% off which means that $60.50 would come off of the total, bringing the order subtotal to $181.50 minus my $20 styling fee means the entire box would be $161.50. And this is where I really need your help. Please comment in the comments down below which pieces you think look best on me and which ones I should keep and which ones I should pass on. Overall, I think the pricing for this box is pretty decent. The price for that romper is the thing that uh, I have a knee-jerk reaction about the price to that. But if you think it looks good on me, I'm certainly going to consider it. So let me know in the comments below. Well, that was a fun try-on, and I'm sure my hair looks crazy. I can feel the static cling and flyaways, but we're just going to ignore that. So the first piece that I tried on was this romper, and this is the Market and Spruce Freya Knit Romper Cobalt Size Small Petite $68. The only reason that I hesitate on this, because it really wasn't as short on as I thought it would be, to be honest, is the button that's in the back is very difficult for me to hook and unhook alone. And with a romper, you kind of have to pretty much get undressed just to go to the bathroom. So for that reason, even though I love this, I am going to pass on this. I didn't think it was too short, and it really surprised me. I loved the way it looked when I was watching the footage back. And even if it had a zipper that I could just quick zip in and out, I would have bought this. But with this little hook and eye uh, situation in the back, I don't have that kind of time when I have to pee. So according to the style card, my stylist suggested that I put it with a denim jacket. So that's what I did. I pulled a denim jacket out of my closet. This is just one that I bought years ago at Boscov's. You've probably seen it in a number of my videos. And I had on a little inexpensive floppy hat that I got off of a clearance rack somewhere. I'm sure I didn't pay more than $10 for it. So I paired these shoes with the romper. I wear these often. They're very comfortable. They're a suede. I got these from QVC. They're the brand Earth. And even though they lace up in the front, they do have very easy on and off Velcro. And I feel real comfortable and sturdy in these, but I thought they looked really cute with that romper. So let's talk about these jeans. These are the Judy Blue Jerry Distressed Boyfriend Jean in Indigo, size 4, $58. I love these. They are so comfortable, so stretchy. I was able to put either one cuff or two, depending on which shoes I had on. They have just the right amount of distressing for me. These are a real strong contender and they are $58. What did you think of these on me? I know in w looking at the footage, I felt like I had a little bit of a muffin top going, but a lot of us do. I mean, it's just the shape of our body. Uh, these are a mid-rise, and I might try a higher rise, but right now I really like these jeans, but I do want to get your opinion. So let's talk about this blouse next, and I really like this. The coral is almost a neon coral, and I know that for spring-summer 2019, both coral and neon are in, and I was honestly going to avoid the whole neon thing altogether, but I like it in this combination. It does have those fussy little buttons on the back, but honestly, these were much easier to open than the, um, the, jump, the jumper was. So this is the Paper Moon Bonnie Keyhole Halter Blouse Coral Size Small and $38, and I'm, I don't have a problem with the price at all. This is very flowy, so I have a tendency to do a front tuck with anything flowy. But what did you think of this on related to my coloring? I typically don't wear colors quite this warm, and I'm not sure if I can pull this color off. I like it. I like it in theory, and I like to look at it, but I don't know if it looks good on me. So please comment below what you think on this. And when I tried on the denim and a couple of the tops, I had these shoes on. And I bought these so recently that I haven't even taken the inside stickers off. And these are just a random pair of shoes from the brand Sugar. 
and I paid $19.99. They have some marigold and gray and gunmetal embroidery. Again, they have the easy to slip on and off Velcro closures that I really like. Sorry about the traffic, it's unavoidable. And the heel is gives me a little bit of a lift, but it, I don't feel wobbly in it at all. So I have a feeling I'm gonna wear these a lot. And I paired these with something from my recent Walmart haul of all things. The stylist suggested that I put a gold cuff with this outfit and I didn't own one. And I remembered that I had this stackable bracelets with the pretty charms on it. And I put them on and I just really love the way it looked. I just have to get used to the, the jingle sound of bangles. I don't usually wear bangles, especially when they're stacked like this. Uh, but I really did like these with both this one and the next top that I'm going to show you. So next I want to talk about this dress, and this is the Fortune and Ivy Mattia Brush Knit Dress, and it is green, size small, $40. $40, that's a fine price. The fabric feels very nice, kind of like a t-shirt material, kind of stretchy, but I have to tell you that, to me, this dress seems like a solid no. I don't mind the print, I don't mind the color, it's the fit. When I turned sideways, and especially when I watched the footage back, I felt like I looked like I was pregnant. There was just a lot of fabric around my waist. And at 56 years old, I don't need to be trying to look like I'm pregnant. <laughs> um, but give me your honest opinion on this dress. Am I just being too overly self-critical? In the footage where I show that I'm trying this on, you see me actually kind of folding the waistband over. And I was trying to get a sense of what this dress would look like it was, if it was more fitted but it's not more fitted and it would have been really cute if it had a little bit of ruching or something and I realized I could put a belt with it but I just thought the dress was a little bit shapeless so please let me know your honest opinion of what you think about this. I do like the color and the print and this dress is the one thing making me think that I couldn't possibly go for the five for five but maybe I'm wrong so let me know. And the stylist suggested that I pair this with white tennis shoes. I don't own any and in fact Thinking of that, I need to go ahead and ask my Stitch Fix stylist to send me some because they've come up a number of times on the style cards. So I went ahead and paired it with a white denim jacket that I had in my closet. It's got some princess seaming, gives me some good shape, kind of cinched in the waist that I was having a problem with with that dress. And this is a jacket I bought years ago from Boscov's. It's the brand Amy. I believe that's how it said A-M-I. And this is just a stretchy white denim jacket. And then I paired that with yet another clearance rack floppy hat. This one happened to have some flowers in it that were in the same colors that were in the dress. I'm certain that I did not pay more than $10 for this as well. If you've been on the fence about trying Stitch Fix, now's actually the perfect time to try it because you'll be able to freshen up your spring wardrobe. I'm going to put my referral code down below. I would be thrilled and honored if you chose to use mine, but even if you don't, use someone's referral link. That will give you a $21 credit on your Stitch Fix account, which will waive your styling fee, and also you can apply that $21 toward an item in the box. Whoever's link you use will get a small credit on their account as well, so if you use my link, I would get a small credit, and that will help me to make future videos, so I appreciate that. But it'll also make your first box absolutely free. Thanks so much for taking time out of your busy day to spend with me. I truly appreciate it. If you liked this video and would like to see more, please consider giving it a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe and notification bell to see future videos. Until next time, bye guys.